President Hillary magazine cover spotted on Trump's desk along with something very different about it, while the most healthy choice after going through some loss is to find a way to cope and move on, sometimes that's hard to do when others keep bringing it up. It's especially hard when you yourself bring it up every single chance you get. I'm talking, of course, about Hillary Clinton's beautiful loss to Donald Trump last November. We are now over six months into President Trump's tenure as president, and people are still interviewing Hillary and she's still talking about all the good reasons she has for losing. I think conservatives would be willing to just pick up and move on, but if she wants to keep talking about it, we may as well oblige her. The White House was hers to lose, and she still managed to screw it up. I mean, at one time, it was literally her house, and she's been seen on Capitol Hill for one reason or another ever since the early 90s, and then President Trump just came out of nowhere and snatched it right away from her. It's gotta burn. Obviously, none of us knew when we woke up on November 8th what the results would be, and the nature of news being what it is, newspapers had to plan accordingly. Because of that, there were quite a few publications that had two different versions of their magazines and papers ready to be distributed, depending on who won the election. Obviously, those print runs with the loser on them had to go somewhere, and there's at least one conservative that found a good use for one. This brilliant soul found a copy of Newsweek, declaring Hillary to have won and got Donald Trump to sign it. Like I said, brilliant. Via Conservative Tribune as our readers will no doubt recall, there was a veritable certainty among the mainstream media and the polls that Hillary Clinton would win the 2016 election. With that certainty in mind, a third-party company named Topics Media shipped out Newsweek magazines declaring Clinton as president prior to the election, while the Donald Trump magazine covers were still being produced. According to NBC, the covers that had been shipped prior to the election were recalled once it was clear Trump was going to win but not before some of the Clinton Madam President magazines had already been sold. Many of those recalled special editions that were never recovered ended up appearing for sale online, with prices varying from as little as $0.99 to as much as $9,995 for a magazine that normally would cost $10.99. According to the Washington Examiner's chief political correspondent Byron York, one of those commemorative Clinton covers found its way into the hands of an unnamed conservative activist, who decided to have a finishing touch added to the piece of memorabilia. As shown in a tweet by York, the activist somehow was able to have President Trump autograph the magazine right over Madam President Clinton's face. This is quintessential and hilarious Trump. And is just about as humiliating for O.L. Hillary as it gets. Conservative activist finds copy of Newsweek alternative Hillary wins cover, gets Trump to autograph, York tweeted. Say Byron York conservative activist finds copy of Newsweek alternative Hillary wins cover, gets Trump to autograph. It makes you wonder how much that special edition of Newsweek would see for now, if the activist ever decided to part with such an incredible and one-of-a-kind keepsake. I don't know what kind of day you were having before, but I hope it just got better. Seeing a reminder of Hillary's loss and America's gain is something that will never get old. But sadly we can't just sit back and say that our job is done. Both the beautiful thing and the tiring thing about the four-year terms is that we will have to pick up our armor and put our weary selves back in battle again in 2020, or tomorrow, or whenever the campaign starts for the next election. Because the liberals are so very pissed off about the changes that President Trump is making, it's going to be very difficult to defuse their rage and make sure they don't try any illegal tactics to keep President Trump from getting a second term. So please, rejoice now, but let things like this serve as a reminder of just how close we came to having a criminal run our country. It almost happened in 2016 and it could happen in the future. So continue to fight for the country you love, because you can be sure that the other side will. Source, Conservative Tribune Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.